Oh well. Um, the mission is I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to do this sober, which is probably the hardest part of the whole thing. But anyway, um, I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna take two of these old speakers, and I'm gonna create um, a quad box or two twin cabinets. This is what the mission's gonna be. So anyway, um, I'm gonna set the camera up, and I've got one over here that's ready to rock. And I'm just basically doing this for anyone who wants to um, basically put together something. I don't know, an inexpensive, inexpensive way of getting um, good volume, I suppose. Um, okay, so essentially you need to have music playing in the background and beer does help but we'll see how we go. Okay, that's the speaker, I'll just set the camera up. sound check now and make sure this video is going to work alright before, before I bloody get into it. Make sure. Okay, this is a sound check to make sure everything's bloody. This is this is just a sound check to make sure everything's working and making sure that, that my background sound's not too loud. Alright, we're into it. Okay, um... First, sorry, first I'll go through some of the stuff that we're probably going to need. First I'll go through some of the stuff that I think we're going to need. Uh, we're going we're gonna to be replacing the original speaker part, speaker face, because this only had one 8 inch in it. So we're going to need some timber to do that. Gonna need a saw to cut out the holes for the new speakers. This is, this is probably the easiest way to do it with a jigsaw. Um, it's just that's just the level for doing straight lines. You know, it doesn't have to be a level, just as long as you can get your line straight. Okay, that's just basic. That's just basic stuff. Okay. drill to speed things up so you can take screws out a lot quicker. First of all what you want to do is you want to take the back off and I've already loosened all these screws out so I can just take that off now. So I'll get rid of that. That's just the back of the speaker. Then um, this is the baffling. This is for um, this is basically if your speaker's got a lot of baffling in it, it stops the sound bouncing around inside the speaker so much, and um, so you'll probably get like a punchier sound and stuff. Without this, and you'll get a louder, more reverberated sound depending what you want. Um, I'm going to bit this out for now because it's gonna get in the way. Alright. Okay, so now I've taken this bit off. I can see inside this I can see inside here. This these speakers, I've had them hooked up to my amp already. Them hooked up to my amp already and they are they're not very responsive. I don't think they have a very good frequency range for guitar guitar you need a good frequency range. This, um, these don't, so I'm going to use some earlier speakers. A lot of the old, earlier, like vintage speakers that you can get and stuff, they are like more loud speakers and they cover a, a, a larger range of frequencies, whereas a lot of modern speakers aren't full range speakers. They rely on two speakers to cover the range, the different ranges of um, sound and they 
basically sometimes have this kind of setup which sends the higher signals to that and the initial signal to this or the lower range and mid range to, to, the, to the speaker. Okay, anyway, so what I'll do, I'll start. As you can see, I've done it already. So that's just sitting in there. I've taken out all these screws. I've just left them sitting in there to make it easier for when I put it back together. Okay, um, so this just comes off now. And I'm left with, with the front of the cabinet, well, with the sides of the cabinet. Um, which, uh, which will be, which is just, doing this is just going to save me building this right from the beginning. I'm basically utilising what's already there. Okay.